Welcome back to Talk To Me In Korean. Let's talk about losing weight, but not how to lose weight, but rather how to talk about losing weight in Korean. Hi, I'm Hyunwoo from TalkToMeInKorean.com. The first word you need to know to talk about losing weight is 살. 살. Okay, 살 means your skin, flesh, or in certain contexts, fat or weight that you're trying to lose, the extra pounds that you're trying to shed, and that is 살. And there are two expressions that I'm going to try to compare in this video lesson. And Interestingly, the both, both of the expressions are translated into English as to lose weight. But in Korean, the difference is very, very distinct and very big. And that is what I'm trying to explain in this video lesson. So please pay close attention. So the two expressions are 살을 빼다 and 살이 빠지다. More naturally pronounced, 살을 빼다 and 살이 빠지다. Once again, 살을 빼다 and 살이 빠지다. Both are translated into English as to lose weight, but 빼다, 빼다, if you look at it, it means to subtract, to reduce, or to remove something from something, and to take something out. 빼다. Okay, so there's, there are maybe 10 people on a list, and then you 빼요. 한 사람을 빼다, you remove one person from the list, you take the person out, right? Whereas 빠지다 is the passive form, the passive voice. So something has been taken out, 빠졌어요. So that's the main, the fundamental difference. So when you say 살을 빼다 using the object marker, it's an action, whether through exercise or being on a strict diet, you are doing the act, the action of losing weight, 살을 빼다. Whereas 살이 빠지다, 살이, 살 is the subject of 빠지다, it is lost, okay? So it's the phenomenon or the result of having less weight or weighing less, okay? So that's the difference. So when two people meet and talk about whether this person has lost weight, it really depends on whether they try to lose weight and whether they're talking about the act of exercising and making an effort. So here's a sample conversation for you. In this conversation, we're only using 빠지다, okay? The weight just went down. 살좀 빠진 것 같아요. 아니에요, 하나도 안 빠졌어요. A says, 살좀 빠진 것 같아요. This is a very common the greeting, the common line that people say to somebody else, like even, even if they don't look like they've lost weight. So, 살좀 빠진 것 같아요. Oh, you look so slim because it's always a compliment in Korea. 살좀 빠진 것 같아요. It looks like you've lost some weight. 살좀 빠진 것 같아요. And then B says, 아니에요. No, 하나도 안 빠졌어요. Not even one gram or 하나도 means just not at all. 하나도 안 빠졌어요. I haven't lost any weight, okay? So they're talking about the result, the, you know, the state of the person's weight. Here's another sample conversation, but this time we are mixing 빠지다 and 빼다. 살좀 빠진 것 같아요. 네, 일부러 좀 뺐어요. A says, 살좀 빠진 것 같아요. The same exact line as in the previous conversation, and B says, 네, yes. As you can see, <laughs> 일부러 좀 뺐어요. I deliberately lost some weight. I lost some weight. I tried and actually succeeded in losing weight. That's what it means. I decided and I tried. Okay, and then here's another conversation. This time also mixing 빼다 and 빠지다. 살을 왜 이렇게 많이 뺐어요? 몰라요. 그냥 빠졌어요. A says, 살을 왜 이렇게 많이 뺐어요? 살을 빼다, to lose weight, deliberately. And 살을 왜 이렇게 많이 뺐어요? Why did you lose so much weight? And then B says, 몰라요, I don't know. 그냥 빠졌어요. It just happened. I just did. I don't know, I didn't do anything, I didn't try, but I just lost some weight. Okay, so that's the difference. And here's one last sample conversation. In this case, we are actually switching up the positions of 빠지다 and 빼다. 
살이 왜 이렇게 많이 빠졌어요? 운동해서 뺐어요. A says, 살이 왜 이렇게 많이 빠졌어요? Maybe assuming that they didn't try, but just, you know, the weight went down. And then B says, 운동해서 뺐어요. I exercised and that's how I lost weight. Okay? So, of course, 빠지다, 살이 빠지다, um, you can use it in a question like, 살이 어떻게 빠졌어요? And then it can also be used in an answer like, uh, 밥을 조금 먹으니까 빠졌어요. It can be used to describe a situation where you did make some efforts, but it's more of a result or a phenomenon of the weight going down, you weighing less and less, whereas 살을 빼다 is your action of trying to lose weight, you know, active efforts, okay? A similar comparison can be applied to to gain weight. You gain weight or weight is gained, 살이 찌다. You didn't try, but just by, you know, not paying attention to what you were eating or moving a little less, exercising a little less, for whatever reason, the result or the phenomenon is 살이 찌다. Oh, 살이 쪘어요, 살 쪘어요. Whereas 살을 찌우다, maybe you have to gain weight, um, you want to be more buff or you want to, you are an actor, actress, you need to gain weight for a role or something like that. In that case, you say 살을 찌우다. You actively, deliberately gain weight. Okay? So I hope this wasn't too difficult to understand the difference between 살이 빠지다, 살을 빼다, 살이 찌다, and 살을 찌우다. The tricky part is that both are translated to just one thing, but now you know because you watched till the end of this video, right? So thank you so much for studying with TalkToMeInKorean.com and if you have any further questions about these expressions or anything else, please leave us comments and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notifications so that you are notified every time we post a video, okay? 감사합니다. 저희는 다음 시간에 인사드릴게요. Bye-bye!